Today on Documentify TV, we are revisiting a discovery that took place in 1968 that would later shock the scientific community many decades later. Technology has revealed findings that would lead to speculation and disagreement. Let's find out in today's video what was discovered that day in 1968. In 1968, construction workers in Montana made a remarkable discovery that would eventually revolutionize our understanding of Native American origins. The partial skeleton of a one-year-old boy, now known as Anzic I, was unearthed alongside 125 ancient artifacts, including distinctive Clovis culture stone tools and elk antlers. This find, dating back approximately 12,600 years, has become a cornerstone in the ongoing debate about the first peoples to inhabit the Americas. In 2014, an international team of researchers led by geneticist Eska Willersleff from the University of Copenhagen successfully sequenced the complete genome of Anzic I. This groundbreaking study, published in the journal Nature, provided the first full genomic profile of an ancient American individual. The results strongly supported the theory that Native Americans descended from Asian populations who migrated across the Bering Land Bridge. The genetic analysis of Anzic I dealt a significant blow to the controversial Solotrean hypothesis, which proposed that the first Americans arrived from southwestern Europe. Instead, the DNA evidence pointed to a strong link between the Clovis child and modern Native American populations, particularly those in Central and South America. Dr. Jennifer Raff, anthropological geneticist from the University of Kansas, formerly at the University of Texas, described the study as the final shovelful of dirt on the European origin theory. However, proponents of alternative hypotheses, such as Dennis Stanford from the Smithsonian Institution, maintained that archaeological evidence in eastern North America still supported earlier migrations from Europe. Since the initial ANZIC-1 study, additional research has further illuminated the complex story of Native American origins. Subsequent studies have revealed that Native American populations likely resulted from at least three distinct migration waves from Asia. The first and largest wave occurred around 15,000 to 23,000 years ago, followed by two smaller waves, including one by the ancestors of present-day Nardene speakers. Growing evidence supports the idea that early migrants may have traveled along the Pacific coastline, in addition to, or instead of, an inland route. Archaeological sites like Monte Verde in Chile, dated to 14,600 years ago, support this hypothesis. Excavations at sites such as the Gold Site in Texas and Meadowcroft Rock Shelter in Pennsylvania have yielded artifacts that predate the Clovis culture, suggesting a more complex picture of early American settlement. Advanced DNA studies of both ancient and modern Native American populations have revealed a higher degree of genetic diversity than previously thought, indicating a more intricate migration and population history. The discovery and analysis of ancient remains, such as the Hoyo Negro Girl in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, have challenged previous assumptions about the physical appearance of early Americans, suggesting greater diversity in cranial morphology among early populations. While the Anzic I genome provided strong evidence for Asian ancestry of Native Americans, some researchers continue to explore alternative hypotheses. Mitochondrial DNA debate. Oxford geneticist Stephen Oppenheimer points to the presence of mitochondrial DNA haplogroup X2A in some Native American populations as potential evidence 
for a European connection, though this remains contentious. Shust and Trans-Pacific Contact Some researchers propose potential prehistoric contact between South America and Polynesia, based on genetic and archaeological evidence, adding another layer to the complex story of early American populations. The study of ancient Native American remains and the debates surrounding their origins have significant implications for modern indigenous communities. AGPRA and Repatriation The Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act, NAGPRA, in the United States has led to increased collaboration between scientists and Native American tribes in the study and repatriation of ancient remains. Indigenous perspectives. Many Native American tribes emphasize the importance of their own origin stories and traditional knowledge, which sometimes conflict with scientific narratives. Collaborative research. There's a growing trend towards more ethical and inclusive archaeological and genetic research involving indigenous communities as active participants and stakeholders. The discovery and analysis of ANZIC-1 marked a significant milestone in our understanding of Native American origins. While it strongly supported the Asian origin hypothesis, it also opened up new avenues of research and debate. As technology advances and more ancient DNA is recovered and analyzed, our picture of early American prehistory continues to evolve, revealing a story more complex and nuanced than ever before. The ongoing research into Native American origins not only sheds light on the distant past, but also has profound implications for our understanding of human migration, adaptation, and diversity. It underscores the importance of interdisciplinary approaches, combining genetics, archaeology, and anthropology while also highlighting the need for ethical considerations and inclusion of indigenous perspectives in scientific research. What's our take on this controversial topic? Our thoughts are this. We speculate there were multiple migrations from Beringia over thousands of years that may have reached into South America. That being said, we also speculate there was a migration possibly from the Pacific and possibly the Atlantic as well. Over the millennia, the Americas mixed with each other. However, we cannot discredit the First Nations stories and beliefs of creation. We do not fully understand origins and not enough is known about our ancient past. As time goes on with new explorations and technology advances, we uncover more about our past, history of who how and where these ancient people have come from. What are your thoughts on this theory and discovery? Does it make sense or is there something else missing in the equation? Let us know in the comments. Until next time folks, see you in our next video right here on Documentify TV.